Our first guest is an Oscar and Emmy nominated actress, podcaster, and the only singing Bond girl in that franchise's history. You can see her star in season two premiere episode of Modern Love, which is now available on Amazon Prime Video. Please welcome the stunning, gorgeous, talented Mini Driver. <laughs> First time doing this, I'm so lucky that you came. You have such grown-up glasses on. Well, I'm blind as a bat. Yeah. I think it's called old, but thank you. But you look very cute. Also, like, I could be here for a job interview. You could be, and we're six feet apart, so you're not going to get it. <laughs> Wait, I'm not going to get the job, or I'm not going to get the Delta variant? Oh, no, you won't get either. Good, excellent. Th that's fantastic. That well, I don't know if you listen to the monologue, but I saved a woman named Minnie last week. We often need saving. I'm glad that you... <laughs> I'm so glad that when it was When was the your... last time you needed saving, Minnie Driver? Oh, oh, oh. So I surf quite a lot, and I definitely got into a little bit of a pickle um, about a month ago. What happened? And, um, I just got caught when there was a big set. Between, control. like, a shark and a rock? No, 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 not no. at all. I just needed... I needed someone to tell me where to sit so that I wasn't going to get crushed by the sets coming in. And it was good, so I was safe. Wait a minute. Where to sit or where to sit? Or where to set? Where to sit... Sit. ..while the set... Oh, I see. ..came through. I mean, you can see why it's confusing. Where to sit for the set? But you've been surfing since you were, like, a baby, right? I've been surfing for a... Not quite a baby, but a long time. Well, Listen, it, you, you can never disrespect Mother Ocean. No, absolutely not. That's yeah. why I don't surf. You don't, yeah. And I don't sit on a set. <laughs> I mean, I sit on a set, but not a set of waves. That is an insane thing. Um, you know, I mean, they, they, they might not know this, but we, did we meet on Modern Family? Or we did, did we meet through our friend? We, met, we then met And then we met, met through our friend our Apple. Friend. Yes. yes. Yes, when we did meet on the set of Modern Family, we played old friends, and it felt really, really real and good, and everyone was a little in love with you, and I didn't like it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was a little jealous, I'll admit it. It was so fun, I love it. Well, you're just like the tall... I, like, you know, you meet people, you're like, she's so real and she's so cool and I want to be her, and then you show up and I'm like, and I want her to go away immediately. <laughs> but one of the things that we bonded over later, we both have boys. Yes. You have one I have and one. I have three. Yeah, you had... I think my sister has three kids and she said you one is one. You think your sister has three no, kids? No, she does. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I was thinking about what my sister was saying. My sister definitely has three kids, but she said one is one, two is, like, four, and three, you know, you might as well have ten. No, you just... You go from having expectations of your life being organised in any reasonable fashion to just having the lowest standards ever. You're like, skid marks on the underwear, <laughs> turn them inside out. <laughs> so... One of the things I find really hard with my boys is finding anything in common as far as pop culture, music. Like, what do you... Do you do you and your... Is it Henry? Henry. Hey, does, Henry does Henry like well, the same Henry, things? Yeah, he's got, he's got funny programming because he's... My boyfriend is mad about 80s movies and music. Oh, fun. And particularly... Alan Silvestri, who you oh. will know composed the score to many wonderful films, including Romancing the Stone. So I will often hear Henry in the shower humming the tune to Romancing the Stone, and he's... You could see my mouth on the ground, because my boys only listen to violent graphic music, and, and my approach is to just let it go, and we're in the car, and then I pause and go... Let's talk about what we just heard. No, I do that. What with is she okay, doing okay. in on, the shower on, on her knees? Exactly. Yes. But I, I do it in the I do it in the films. I do it in the films when we're watching. Like when you watch these movies, like every the representation of women in these films is unbelievable because they're either sort of the buttoned up, the buttoned up mom who mm -hmm. like nobody is mm -hmm. having sex with and nobody wants to have sex with. <laughs> Or they're in crazily inappropriate clothing with... And I'm constantly pausing and going, now listen. <laughs> Just because she has large, beautiful breasts, she may also have something to say. We'll never know because we're so busy looking at her boots. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> which, is, which is 
do. It's a, it's a tale as old as time. It's the Madonna Whore Complex. Mm. And you have to explain, mommy is somewhere in the middle. <laughs> I'm, I'm just somewhere in the middle. So I remember a long time ago, did you, did you move like away? Cause you used to, we used to live near each other and then you moved yes. to a... I live out in, I live out in a small community in Malibu. A small community. Uh, yeah. You want to tell us about your small community? Well, so I have some questions. I live, I live in a, I live in a really beautiful mobile home park and I've lived there for 20 years and Jay Leno genuinely used to make fun of me, like really, and he would never let. Well, it you go. know why Jay Leno was making fun he, of it? Why, because, because he wants to know if those mobile homes were mobile. If He's were like, what good are they if they're not moving? Well, by the way, I mean they are sensibly. You could split them in half and put them on the back of a flatbed truck. Yes, you could do that. Wait, no, but, they're supposed to drive. You should be able to get in and turn a key. No? That's a trailer. That's a trailer? Julie, you go into a trailer every time in between filming. Yes, you I know, know what a trailer but I thought... <laughs> Darling, you've been doing this a long time. Like, you don't need me to tell you, because you have a big trailer. But I thought that mobile homes meant that it was on wheels and you could turn the key. No, it up. means that you could, you could pick it up and put it onto a truck with wheels. I could do and almost drive it. anything if I could pick it up and put it on a truck. Well, by the way, that exactly. I mean, and that's pretty much how I live my life. <laughs> it's honest. I say I can do anything because I live in a house that, that could go with me. <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> oh, I want more of that. And we will get more. We'll be right back after this break with Mini Driver. So big news. Um, I'm selling the car and it's breaking my heart. It's the biz, no? It's getting older and I'm not getting any richer. I can't talk to you back at the house or at the office. I mean, people would think I'm crazy. But here, I mean, who cares? It's like I can feel your presence. Wow! <laughs> Welcome back, Minnie Driver. Minnie, I was doing all my homework because I wanted to be a good host, and I thought Modern Love was fluffy and light, so I did what I always do, and I was watching it in the gym on the bike. Um, I want to show you what happened. I'm not kidding. It is the saddest, yeah. most heart-wrenching thing in the world, and you are so beautiful in it. Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you. That's so nice. It is a really, it is a really sad, beautiful story with some hope at the end. But it's based know? on like a real thing oh, yeah. that happened yeah. from the articles yeah. in, in the yes. New York Times. Yeah, it started out as the as the column in the New York Times, then it became a podcast, and now they've made this beautiful TV show. And it's, you know, we shot it all in Ireland, and it was it was amazing. It well, was... if any of you need to get your cry on. Men, if you need to like do your annual cry, anything. This is, <laughs> but it's beautiful. It's also uh, you know captivating and gorgeous. But I sobbed and sobbed like a baby. So thank you for that. You're welcome. I'm pounds lighter. <laughs> um, now I have a question because all right, to sort of as a palate cleanser for you, after all that crying and being sad, and um, you have a podcast that you do. I do. Yes. Yes. Tell me about the podcast. So it was like, you know, it was a COVID baby. And during COVID, we all had to try and find things to, to do, to be creative. And yes. I did a few things and I decided I was, wanted to do a podcast. And I know everyone has a podcast, but I heart were brilliant and encouraging. And I decided to ask the same seven questions to a variety of different interesting people. And I, I've done that. I've spoken to Tony Blair, who was, you know, Prime Minister. Prime Minister of yeah. the UK. And, and, and Viola Davis, who is just basically the queen. And Dave Grohl. And Dave Grohl, who <laughs> is the Joker. <laughs> um, Wait, and you asked them all the same question? Yes. Now, did Tony Blair and Dave Grohl answer all their questions exactly the same? No, <laughs> they did not. This is why I'm hoping it will be something of a cultural anthology where you can cross reference and go, you know, what did, what was, what grew out of a personal disaster for Dave Grohl? And what grew out of a personal disaster for Tony Blair? Ooh, apart I got from some thoughts. The Iraq War. <laughs> <laughs> so, and who were you the most nervous to interview for that? You know, I think Viola Davis. I honestly, mm. she's my, she's, she's, the top of the top of the top of what, you know, I do the same thing for a living, like. I did a commercial with her, with, with Miss Piggy. 
Achoo. And we were in the bathroom, and um, it was a Miss Piggy. I don't remember. It was for a car, I think. <laughs> but there's Violet Davis, oh, and I, I just that. was like, <gasps> she sees through me. She can see my soul. It was a brilliant podcast. If I say so myself, she was a brilliant guest. So you did what you've done one season. How many how many episodes? Oh my God. I mean at this point we've done I mean I've done like I feel like 25. Oh my God, that's so. a lot. Yeah. Like I'm about to take a little break because I've got to go to work um, on a set. Oh very mysterious Minnie. You want to is it <laughs> is it porn? It's not porn. <laughs> not this week. Ah <laughs> Well, I have an idea, because I was thinking, <laughs> like, because for next season, if you've already done 25 of these episodes of the same seven questions, maybe I could pose some new ones for oh, you. God, Do you want to hear some? Too. Okay. What is the most useless fruit? <laughs> um, the spiky one that no one yeah. ever buys. Yes, the, yes, the, I know what you mean, dragon fruit. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> have you ever been sexually attracted to a math equation? Yeah, pie gets me hot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> go on and on and on. I'm only going to ask one, one more. Would you rather read on the toilet or be able to pee anywhere you want in a library? I don't want to pee in a library. No, I read on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> You're so sensible. Thank you, Minnie. <laughs> Thank Season you. two premiere episode of Modern Love is available now on Amazon Prime Video, and I cannot recommend it enough. We will be back with Jacob Elordi. Ta -da, ta -da.